naona hii ex. Imeisha huyu ameshawekewa ex mara moja na atakuja kuna ni sasa hivi atakuja kupewa hela yake na mimi iliyoniathiri sana sana mimi nilikuwa naishi hapa kulasini lakini mume wangu alipondoka na hela zote mimi nikabaki na babaika kutokana na mwenzangu alinizidi akili kwa hiyo hizi ex zinatuathiri sana sisi kulasini hizi kwa kina mama nimetunani sana yani sisi tumeathirika sana wengi sana kina mama tumeathirika na hizi ex za hapa kulasini Kurasini is in the Temeke district of Dar es Salaam. The city is home to 4 million people. Many of the poor in the city work as informal traders or at the nearby port. Kurasini is close to work and close to the markets of the city center. This is uh, Kurasini, Zamkago settlement. Uh, it was a big settlement, people were staying in this area, there are so many houses and people doing business. But what you can see here is only few people and few shacks where people are doing their business. They have to cross the sea from the other side of the sea to come here to do their business. It is one of the largest slums in the city. 70 to 80 percent of people in Dar es Salaam live in informal settlements. Bada ya kusikia kwamba eneo la kulasini inatakiwa kubomolewa kwa ajili ya kupisha upanuzi wa bandari. Kweli tukiwa wanajamii tulifadhaika sana kwa sababu moja tulikuwa tumeshazoea maisha ambayo tulikuwa tunaishi japokuwa sio sarama lakini tuliona kwamba kuna ugumu baada ya kutuondoa sisi kutupeleka sehemu ambayo hatuijui tutakuwa tumekwazika kwa vikwazo vingi sana vikiwemo kwa sababu wengi wao wana jamii wana shuli mbalimbali ndogo ndogo zinawaingizia kipato kwao walikuwa wanajiuliza huko wanakoenda wataenda kufanya nini A lot of development is happening in the city the Federation realized that slum dwellers will have to unite in order to influence such plans. This has been a very big threat to the community, especially uh, the poor people living in informal settlements because houses are demolished to give space for such development. The area here where I'm standing, you can see these are leftovers of the houses. People used to stay here and they were conducting various uh, livelihood activities, which is now no longer happening. The Centre for Community Initiatives is empowering community to do enumerations, to do savings and negotiate with the government in order to face these kind of problems. Enumeration done in Kurasini to refine your work To refine your work wa federation ndani ya Dar es Salaam. Tulifanya vile kwa sababu tulikuwa tunahitaji kujua kupata ardhi kwa ajili ya kujenga nyumba za wana federation. Wale watu wenye nyumba walikuwa wanalipwa na serikali na walikuwa wanapata ardhi. Lakini wale wapangaji lakini wale wapangaji walikuwa hawapati pesa wala kulipwa pesa yoyote. Kwa hiyo tukaamua kwa kushirikiana na CCI tukaamua kujengewa uwezo wa kuweza kufanya enumeration. Tulikuwa napita nyumba kwa nyumba na kuzipima zile nyumba kujua ukubwa wa nyumba na tuliweza kufanya sensa ile ya kujua kwamba kuna watu wangapi ndani ya nyumba baada ya kupata data zile za numeration na kujua kuna watu wangapi tuliweza kujua kwamba asilimia semanini ya wakazi wa kurasini ni wapangaji na asilimia ishirini ni wenye nyumba ambao watakayefaidika na serikali kulipwa zile pesa ya yeah, with the social economic service which was conducted the baseline data which were presented to our local authority reveals that the majority have been 
the tenants, but not the landlords. So once you pay the compensation to the landlords, the majority are being affected. So we capitalized on that socioeconomic profile to support whatever programs we are doing that we should put into consideration the element of the tenants and the possibly the new approach towards the housing development to support the urban poor who are the majority. Lakini kupitia federation tumeweza kuwa na uwezo wa kukaa pamoja na kuzungumza ni jinsi gani tunaweza kukabiliana na hali ambayo imetukabili kama jamii. Kwa kwa pamoja tulikaa na kuanza mchakato wetu wa kujadiliana majadiliano kati yetu sisi wanajamii na serikali kweli serikali ilituelewa the government and Temeke municipality have not been in a position to provide a funds in terms of subsidy, but they are providing support in terms of technical assistance to survey the land as well as uh, machines for making bricks. Jambo la kwanza kwa na federation na mkuwa Dere Slam bada kukubalia na tulitengeza plani ambayo inaonyesha ya vimba viwili vya kulala, timing na lajiko. Aumu ya pili, tukawa tumeshilikiana na wadao mbali mbali kupitia serikali kupitisha yu michole ya hizo nyumba. Ilikuwa ni ngumu kidogo kwa manispaa kuweza kutusikiliza na kuweza kutusaidia kupata ardhi. Kwayo, kwa kushilikiana na sisi ya wanachama wa federation, tuliweza kuamua kwa pamoja kuweza kujichangia pesa katika kila kikundi na kuweza kupata pesa ili tuweze kwenda kununua ardhi. Serikali mara zote haiamini kwamba sisi tunaweza tukatekeleza majukumu yetu kama ambapo ilivyoweza kujionyesha. Sisi kama jamii tunaweza eh, tukawa tuna mawazo ya kuweza kuona kwamba tunatekeleza, tunaweza tukapiga tofali wenyewe na tukaweza kujenga nyumba yetu wenyewe na kama ambavyo unavyoweza kuona hii ni jamii yenyewe imeweza kutekeleza wajibu wake. Eneo hili hapa la Chamazi limenunuliwa na wana federation kwa kujiwekea kiba ya pesa ndogo ndogo hatima yake tukakubaliana na mwenye mali ya eneo hili hapa tumelipa gharama ya shilingi milioni 24 pesa za Tanzania pia katika ujenzi wa hizo nyumba zetu tumezingatia kukaa na serikali kuishawishi kupunguza ile eneo ukubwa wa eneo walikuwa wanataka ya mita 400 lakini sisi kwa watu wa kipato cha chini tumeshindwa tukakaa nao pamoja tukashirikiana nao tukapunguza ukubwa wa maeneo kwa ajili watu wenye kipato cha chini wapate nyumba bora na zenye gharama nafuu you can see behind me a uh, list of a number of houses which has been built, but the land which Federation has goes all the way up to the other side of the corner. It's about 30 acres, whereby more than 500 units are being planned. Sasa hivi ni nafuraa sana kupata nyumba cha mazi. Na hii nyumba hiko undani ya jina langu, siyo jina la mme wangu, hata kidogo. It is an ongoing process within the Federation and its relationship with the government. Every day, the Federation is saving, using its own information, meeting and learning together, and it is making a change in the city. Poor people are uniting to assert their need to be part of this city. By working together, they are becoming a force that engages with the government and other stakeholders in order to make a real change. Me fly sana kufika huko chamazi lakini kwa sababu na mbali na mji ila ila sio suluhisho kwa sababu hata watu kulasini bado wana timu wanaondolewa kwa hiyo watu wataenda wapi It is still a hard struggle but with the federation it is not just about building houses step by step the federation is making sure that for the poor the city becomes home